They must be really scraping the barrel when they ship out garbage like this. Look at this. Someone was kind enough to leave a note. Don't even bother. When it looks like this upon delivery, it's a leaker. Wow, look at this box. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Timer flash seven times. ET system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. And real quick, before we get started, make sure you check out my brand new channel exclusively for Navian Leaks. Link is down in the description box down below. Please subscribe. Thank you. All right, let's get this Bosch IDS 2.0 system installed. Let's go. Make sure you thumbs up too, by the way. All right, it is Monday, June 7th. We're putting in this Bosch IDS 2.0 four ton system today. Stay tuned. I'll be using a few new things I haven't used in the latest videos, and that's one zoom lock. So you're not gonna wanna miss it because I have a Nets playoff game tonight at Barclays. So we're not wasting any time today. Stay tuned. All right, we're getting started outside. I got my field piece recovery machine. I took out the Schrader core out of the suction side. And right now we're pumping down the system. I could also weigh out the charge, but I'm good with that this way it is. And I can also use a manifold and hook up both ports, high and low side, going through the manifold, to the recovery machine, to the recovery cylinder. So this is what works for me. It's 7.35 in the morning. Let's get this done. Let's head up to the attic. All right, let's take a look at this indoor unit. Look how they hung it with the threaded rod. The two by fours. Don't they know this comes at a premium these days? My internal pan is full of water. I already have the ball compartment door off. Supply, plenum's disconnected. Return plenum's disconnected. Power's off at the breaker. I'm gonna get a CO2 cartridge and blow out this line. All right, getting it done. We should be able to fit through here. All right, 9.45. Let me show you what we got done. Now, if you see the electric out, you know what's done already. All right, there's my switch. Single pole, double throw switch. I ran some BX. And I got two Wagos right there for my line voltage. Two lines of 110 volts each. I got my fan right here. The power is power. Get this fan. And my return plenum is secured. My supply plenum is secured. I to that. Shitty job. I'm going to go with that again. Mastic tape. Uh, this duct was under the unit here, so I pulled that out and it went around this 2x4, so now it's a straight shot run and we got plenty of room here. We'll connect to this and this takeoff, 6 inch takeoff. Primary condensate there, goes out into the gutter. This is the emergency drain line that goes out above the gutter. I'm gonna wire in the float switch to there. I'm gonna water test and I gotta flush out my line sets. Not bad for 9.45. I was up in this attic at around 7.40. 7.30, I already had the recovery machine sucking out the R22. Recovered all the refrigerant. Uh, Mike got here around 7.45. I had to uh, disassemble the attic stairs. Take a look, take a look at this. I had to take out the brackets because there wasn't enough room. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, they were half broken. So I'm gonna send my handyman guy here and give him a new attic stairs. It's just the right thing to do, you know? All right, I gotta do the line set. I gotta flush this. And I'm gonna use a zoom lock today on the uh, 7 8 yeah, maybe we'll come across. I don't know. I'll figure something out to connect to there. Maybe I'll just do a, swoop it right in. 
Maybe a coupling here. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. All right. Had to get a little creative. In case you're wondering, that's the big giant missile of nitrogen. Threw a couple valves, made an extension hose. <laughs> I'm not schlepping that thing up. Are you crazy? <laughs> All right, I'm going to flush out the uh, line set, the pro flush. All right. Smart, huh? Smart. Love the zoom lock. I love it. Get that on there. I gotta get the other battery. Yeah, the battery's set. All right, so with the zoom lock, we gotta deburr not only inside, but also outside. And I give you this piece of Scotch-Brite to clean the end. That's the pre preparation you have to do. Just like that, very easy. All right, while I'm working on the electric, I got my vacuum pump running. I'm using the Eco Tools True Blue. I think it's True Blue. Yeah, True Blue Professional evacuation kit. And I got the field piece, 8 CFM vacuum pump. As you can see, I'm at 148 microns. This is after about, I want to say about 20 minutes. I'm going to change out the disconnect, let that come down even further, and then we'll do a decay test, see how she's working. I just want to do a live uncut raw. Let's close these two valves, see what we're working with. She jumped up real quick, that's normal. Then she's dropping back down, it's also normal. All right, open these back up. Not to turn off the power. The disconnect. Out that box. All right, I just finished up my disconnect, my whip, wiring L1, L2, ground, my low voltage wiring. If you're using cooling only, you only need two wires, which is a great, great feature because this communicates with the refrigerant and the air handler just by Y and C. Very simple. If you're going to use the heat pump functionality, you're going to have to use the other wires. <clears throat> Anyway, we're at 83.7 microns. Let me close this valve. Let me close that valve. Let's see what she jumps up to. You see she jumped up to about 125, 150, and now she's going back down. This is a fantastic, fantastic vacuum. I love it. Now we can open up our valves and uh, connect my C and wipe in the attic. Close the uh, access panel for the blower and charges bad boy. All right, once she starts up, we're gonna hold down that force button momentarily. And shortly thereafter, a little symbol's gonna appear there. And we're gonna wait for it to ramp up to speed. All right, frequency is at 61. I am at 10.3 degrees of subcooling. I added a total of pounds to give me the right amount of sub -cooling. So we are good to go. We are good to go. It's going to button up upstairs, put the cover on. Beautiful. Look at those pressures. Beautiful. What sucks is I just fixed the attic stairs, put it back together, and I've dropped my iPad, hits the floor, and it cracks the screen. I am not a happy camper. However, I did believe the entire time once we disassembled those attic stairs that I was gonna have to buy them new stairs. Granted, they're like 35, 40 years old. Granted, they're broken to begin with, but when I took it apart, me and Mike took it apart, I didn't think it was going back together again. So I just saved myself, I don't know, probably about 600 bucks. You know, attic stairs are what? 300 bucks plus 300 dollars for labor for a carpenter to put it in maybe a little bit more but and then i cracked my ipad so eh, it is what it is but they got a brand new bosch ids 2.0 system and they're happy the wife upstairs she's working you know zooming from home she's happy she goes mikey pipes i am a lot happier now than i was this morning thank you so much and i was like you're welcome you're welcome so 
There you have it. It's 1.15. You know what time it is? It's pool time. That's right. And then I'm going to the Nets game playoffs round two at Barclays courtside seats. Maybe I'll take uh, a couple pictures. Maybe I won't, but work hard, play harder. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.